everyone, this is Mr. Yellow. He's all fed and happy and he's going to help me demonstrate to you the biosensor techniques. I emailed you a link to the article um, that I based this training on if you haven't had a chance to read it. The biosensor techniques were began by the U.S. military in training their dogs and through many um, years of research they have found that adding certain stresses at certain times of neuro neurological growth in the puppy helps them to better cope with things later on in life. So from day 13 to day 16, I'm sorry, day 3 to day 16, it has been proven that there is a neurological growth span for the puppy. I just want to take a second to demonstrate what you've seen in the article. The first one is called tactile stimulation, where I just take a Q-tip and tickle in between their toes for three seconds. The second one is called head erect, where you hold the puppy's head directly above the bottom half of its body for three seconds. Then I'm going to very gently turn him upside down, which this is a very awkward position. Mama doesn't like this either. We usually have to take her out of the room in order to do that because puppy cries. The third position is a supine position, which is lying on the back. Um, the very probably one of the most difficult positions for any dog. It's a very submissive position and I'm working to try to get them to relax on their back. And the fifth and final stage is called thermal control. When you put the puppy on a cool, damp cloth for three seconds, it helps to stimulate their sense of thermal change. The biosensor techniques have been proven to, number one, um, provide stronger heartbeat for the puppy introduces stress to them at a much earlier age, um, has some cardiac values as well, also in helping to prevent disease, and also helps to stimulate the adrenal glands. We'll later on in the, um, before the 16 days are over, retake this video, and I think you'll see improvement. They are much improved on week two versus the first day I started.